Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to check username or email is available for register in MySQL database by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. If you have built any web-based application, then in registration data, username or email must be unique for reduced spam registration. So this feature we have built by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script. This is required functionality and which is used most of the application in which registration form is available and so when user has start type their username or email address field then at that time they can see particular username or email is available for registration so this things we will implement in this video tutorial with view javascript using php now let's start discussing this topic this is our testing database and in this we have one login table in this table we can see one data is already inserted with email column data like john smith at gmail.com we will use this table for check live email availability feature this is our working folder first we have open index.php file and in header of this file we have already included bootstrap library link, view javascript library link and axios package link for send ajax request. In this page, first here in this division tag, we have write id attribute is equal to register app, by using view javascript library. Content of this inner tag will be affected by view javascript and outside content will not be affected. After this, we want to make register form. So here we have write input type is equal to text. We model directive is equal to email. By using this directive, we can get the value of this text box. Next, here we have write class is equal to form control and input large. After this, we want to add dynamic class for display error or success event. For this here, we have write double colon class directive is equal to class name. This class name value we can define in JavaScript code. So this way we can define dynamic class name. When user has type email details, then at that time, we want to validate that email is already registered or not in our system. For this here we have write at the rate key up directive is equal to check function. So when user has typed something, then it will call this check function. Below this email text box, we have write span tag with double colon class directive is equal to dynamic class question mark success or danger. So here dynamic class name value will be boolean. So suppose dynamic class value is equal to true then success class property will apply otherwise danger class property will apply to this span tag between this span tag we have write view expression and between this we have write message this message variable value we can define at javascript code after this we want to define password enter field. So here we have write input type is equal to password. We model directive is equal to password. By using this directive, we can fetch value of this password field. 
For submit register form data, here we have write button tag, with attribute type is equal to button, here we have write double colon disable directive is equal to, is disable, this directive value will be boolean, suppose is disable variable value is true, then this button will be disable, otherwise this button will be enabled for click. This style sheet property for display, success event or error even on web page, suppose email already register in our system, then danger class will used, otherwise it will use success class property. Now we have go to view javascript code part, and here we have write application variable is equal to, new view object. Here we have create root view instance. Under this, we have write element option, with division tag id register app, it will takes the id of the html dumb element. Next. We have write data option, and in this we can define data of our view application. Here first we have write email variable is equal to blank value. This for store email text box value. Next, we have write dynamic class variable with true value. So in span tag. It will use success class property. In third data, we have write message variable is equal to blank value. This is for display dynamic message in span tag. After this, we have write password variable with blank value. This is for get the value of password text box. Same way here. Here we have write is disable variable, with false value, it will enable button for click event. Lastly, we have write class name variable with blank value, in this variable, we will define dynamic class name. After this, we have write methods section, in this section, we will create methods for view application. Under this, we have create check method, with callback function, this method will be execute, when user has type email detail in email text box. Under this function, we have write email variable is equal to, application.email.trim method. Here we have store email text box data, under this email variable. Below this, we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write email dot length greater than 2, this condition will check, if email variable value length is greater than 2, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write axios.post method, with two argument. In first argument, we have write action.php, it will send request to this file. And in second argument, we have to define which data we want send to server with ajax request. So here we have define email variable value, which will be sent with ajax request. Next, we have write then method, with callback function, this function will be called, if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server in JSON format. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write response dot data dot is available is equal to yes, if this condition is true, that means entered email is available for registration.
Under this block of code, we have write application dot dynamic class data is equal to true. Below it, we have write application dot message data is equal to message like this email available for registration. For enable register button, here we have write application dot is disable is equal to false. And for define dynamic class name, here we have write application dot class name data is equal to success. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, that means email already register. So under this block, we have write application dot dynamic class data is equal to false. Below this, we have write application dot message data is equal to message like this email is already registered. For disable register button, here we have write application dot is disable data is equal to true. And for define dynamic class name, here we have write application dot class name data is equal to danger. So here our JavaScript code is ready. Not we have go to action dot php file. And here first we want to make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name is equal to testing, user name set to root, and password set to blank value. It will make database connection. After making database connection, now we want to receive data from AJAX request. So here we have write dollar received data variable is equal to JSON decode function. Under this function, we have write file get contents function, and under this function, we have write PHP input. It will receive data in JSON format, and by using JSON decode function, it will be converted into PHP array object. Below this, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array. And next, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar received data with email object value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar is available variable is equal to yes. After this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from login table, where email is equal to dollar received data with email object value. This query will search data in login table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under condition, we have write dollar query variable. This statement will prepare query for execution process. And for above query execution, here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. It will execute above query. Now we want to get total row affected after query execution. So here we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method. 
This method will return number of rows affected after query execution. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar total row variable value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar is available variable is equal to no. Here we have changed the value of this variable. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key is available and in value we have write dollar is available variable. So here we have store data in this dollar data variable in array format. Lastly, we want to send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement, and under condition, we have write JSON encode function, and under this, we have write dollar data variable, it will convert PHP array data into JSON string. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see that, when page has been loaded in browser, then on web page, we can see that, one register form with email and password field, with one register button. Here want to check, entered email is already register or not in this system, so for this, here we have write info at the rate webs lesson dot info email address. Then it display email is available for registration message. Below this text box, it has been check email is already registered or not without refresh of web page. Now we have write John Smith at the rate gmail dot com. After write this email. Then it has display email already register message in red color below text box and text box background color has been changed. And below we can see that register button has been disabled. This is because entered email is already registered. This button will be enabled if entered email address is available for registration. So, friends, in this video tutorial, we have learned, how can we make email availability feature by using Vue JavaScript with PHP script, this same code, we can use for username availability also. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.